April 25th, 2024. It is 6.45. Just pulling up at the Ashboro Airport. I'm going to see if I can't hitch a ride with somebody down to the southern terminus. We'll get the through hike started. Take off. Let's hike it. 45 minutes down and 45 minutes back. First year I did it and I haven't done it since. Okay. All right. Um, so YouTube? Yeah, I saw that. YouTube, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm basically doing the whole, like, what to expect if you're going to do the through hike. Yeah, I, I did one before, but it was my first time ever doing it. So, this is the whole, yeah, I hitched a ride. I didn't actually do the official sign up. So. Yeah, well, why did, they, Diane, they were trying to figure out who we were going with, and I'm like, they're like, you're not on our list. I'm like, oh, I think we have a personal Oh, this is the, the personal <laughs> shuttle. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, but we have a personal oh, this, yeah. this guy shows up on a motorcycle. I think he's lost. Uh, yes. Yeah. So this will be part of the vlog. Getting the honey bun, getting the one last bathroom break before the trail. Tradition. Yeah. And I'm going to gain weight right now with it. Here's the Three Rivers truck. And this will be the the supply wagon. I'm going to put you on video. We got a guy right here doing the, the slack pack. And you dig out your heavy stuff. And you leave it in the wagon. And it shows up at camp. And so you don't have to carry it the whole trail. And then they've got all the water in here as well. Everything's coming with us. Good morning. How's it going? Good. Travis, how you doing? You're All right, us. give me perfect. give me your line. Well, I don't know which line you're talking about. Oh, come on now, connected to the land. Oh, connected to the land, committed to conservation. There you go. It's like it's a recording. It's like one of those push button <laughs> keychain things. What size? Uh, XL, please. XL. I got the campfire on it. I'm trying to redo the vlog since I did it the first time, and now it's the Three Rivers Through Hike Trail Experience with experience okay and cool. yeah more more pointers and stuff I got, you in. got me checked in oh yeah the whole way in. oh yeah way way too much over there it is how's it going how's it going good how are you doing good good trying to vlog everything again oh got got the pack here uh 26 Six? What's your 22. guess? 22? 23. Oh, come on now. Look at him. Better than I am. 23. On the dot. On the dot. <laughs> right, that's nice. Like what's, that. what's the heaviest one so far? I think 38. Seemed like being close. Yeah, I think the, the one time I was 35. What? Yeah. what? Wait, wait, you got to guess on his. I, I guessed his on the dot. He did. He okay, said 23. Okay, guess on that one. 17. <laughs> oh, oh a little bit off. That's still, that's still cool. He missed it. I guessed his on the dot. <laughs> I tell everybody. You get pretty good at him after about that. And I got it on video, too. He did. He did. I mean, it was cool. I got the three of us staff there some people coming in people be coming in throughout the morning i think 10 o'clock's the cutoff but we're here at the southern terminus of the uri trail right where it says you are here and we'll be hiking all the way up and then off the map for the last day but tonight we're going to be going to yates place and the next night will be jumping off rock. The next night will be Walker's Creek. So it's 8.20 in the morning and we'll get going. At this first section you hear the highway but the further you walk the further away the sounds of cars get and then you get to where you can just hear birds chirping 
a little bit of breeze through the trees. Right now we got the sun peeking through. Weather for the next four days is supposed to be perfect. Nice and warm during the days, but a little bit chilly during the nights. I think tonight's supposed to get down 49, I think they said. Oh, I got some flowers. Get distracted on the way in. But it should be perfect weather for it. I don't know if you can read it or not, but I'm at 0.99 miles and there's one mile mark. The trail's pretty well worn and well blazed. And you can get lost, but usually it's not not that far. Yep, the last time. Stones out in the woods. You know when Sherman did his march, you know what he relied on, don't you? What's that? The census. He went through the, he went through the farms that were riches. Ah. And they fed all his army. And he didn't go through them. Where did you get started this morning? Oh yeah. yeah first break oh no, we keep going this way. Okay. See this this is what gets weird. This is the Kiwani Trail and the Wood Run Road. Okay. If you go that way, you'll eventually run into the Uari Trail 4.3 miles from here. Oh, okay. But if you keep going this way, we're gonna be crossing and well, it doesn't say yet, Dutchman's Creek Trail. But eventually we'll be crossing that one road. Yeah. So yeah, we keep following you are. All right, five mile mark. Just at the six mile mark, there's a road crossing. And there will be what they call trail magic, which is basically usually apples, oranges, miniature candy bars, trail mix, water, Gatorade, stuff like that. So you don't you don't have to carry your own snacks. You can if there's certain snacks you want, but they will definitely feed you along the, the trail as you're going. So that'll be a mile up ahead. Maybe sit down take a little break before we keep on going and after that it'll be about four miles to the first camp I'd made a, a video vlog the first time I did the trail and I'm trying to do another vlog to kind of be like what to expect if yeah. it's your first time. And I think one of the things people get worried about is, oh, am I gonna have to go across a raging river right. or anything? Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. You, you'll, you'll be stone skipping and all that. There is a, a big bridge tomorrow that goes across the section, but. That, that other one back before that. It was a was, bit tricky. Was, was yeah. more tricky than the. Yep. It was more tricky than that one because there was no clear... Yeah, I almost went to the right and then I was like, wait, the trail's back to the left. Yeah, yeah. I think it used to go to the right. But... It, it kind of looked like it went across, like straight across. Like if it was low, you could kind of cut across it. Yeah. And in fact, the, the, the one day um, last fall, it rained so hard that literally the trail you were walking in looked like a creek. So by the time you got to the creek crossing, Instead of trying to carefully walk across on the rocks, you just went ahead and walked right through the creek because your your feet were already soaked already. Yeah. So in a way, it made it easier. But okay, coming up on mile six, I can see P 
people at the crossing. So this will be the trail magic. But as I was explaining to some of the people I was hiking with, Steve, Tom, and Steve, that it's also a check-in point. So you have to make sure your name is marked on the list or else they'll think you're missing in the woods. So we'll come up and see what they got. Maybe sit down and rest a spell. See, this is, I'm doing the whole what to expect if it's your first time. And the one thing I was thinking about, you got to get your name checked off the list. What number am I this year? 15. 15. Have you ever had someone go missing? Like, have you gotten to yes. the end and there's like, no. there's one person missing on the list? No, we had someone miss a campsite one time. And they went past it. I think I know yeah. who that was. And they camped in a tarp burrito. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that, yes. That was it. But has this ever come in handy where you're like, hey, we're missing somebody. We need to go look for them. Yes. And you found them, though. Yes. But not often. Yeah, yeah. not very often. Yeah. But since you're in charge, you're kind of responsible oh, to yeah. make sure everybody's there. Right. I don't want to lose anybody. This can be used oh. in for a lot. <laughs> so apples, bananas, Girl Scout cookies, Skittles. See, people were asking me, what, what's going to be there? And I'm like, oh, there's no telling. <laughs> it's going to be a surprise, but there'll be something there. Just left the um, Trail Magic. Can't remember the name of the road. But um, here at the six mile mark, pretty soon we'll be coming up to an intersection of a couple trails, but we'll just keep following. You are a trail north. In fact, here comes a sign on the back of this tree. See what it says. The Tawari Trail South. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have the, the road sign on it or something. But anyway, here's the intersection I was talking about. You got your Yawari Trail north and south. Dutchman's Creek Trail. So this is, some people get confused. This will say Uwari Trail, but it's actually Dutchman's Creek Trail. It's saying if you follow that trail that way, you will get to where we started, where it'll cross back over the Uwari Trail at 5.3 miles. Back where we started is it's six miles away that way. It makes like a figure eight. So, and then some people would get confused and say, hey, Dutchman's Creek Trail, I want to be on Uwari Trail. But this just means if you go on Uwari Trail north, in 2.8 miles, you will cross Dutchman's Creek Trail. But we're going to the Yates Place Trail, which is 3.3 miles, but then there's another quarter of a mile connector trail to the actual Yates Place. And usually the side trails are blazed. Not always, but usually a different color. So you just keep following. The white blazes. You can see here where they recently bulldozed a fire break for, I'm assuming, a controlled burn. I think every few years they burn certain sections to keep keep the fuel from getting too much so they can have a controlled fire. Looks a bit different though, like you're walking on a different planet or something. But the trail's still visible through here. It's funny, you've got all this burnt undergrowth where they had the control burn and down here in the valley you got the ferns kind of cool looking I just came off the trail because I saw this fire ring here and it's kind of odd that it's another one of those areas 
everything around this little valley was burnt in the control burn fires, but this little creek here and the ferns, either they've grown back that quickly or they didn't get burned. It looks like they didn't get burned down here. It's probably moist enough down the valley that just didn't catch fire. Kind of neat how it survived. Eh? But by the end of the summer, all this will probably be grown up and green. As I walked past this tree, I heard something scurry on it. I didn't see it, but I heard it. And my guess is, if I go around the tree, there's going to be a little skink or lizard or something. Let's see if we can't catch it. Oh, there he went. All right, here we are later. Here's the other end of the Dutchman's Creek Trail where we had seen before. But we're gonna keep going north. The Yates Place Trail's half a mile. But from there, it's another quarter mile. So that's where that gets confusing. The Dutchman's Creek, you can make a figure eight with it. But if you're doing the Uari Trail, you just have to keep following the Uari Trail. Still got another half mile to go. Or 0.3 miles to go. We got to sign in. That's the good thing about the spring hike. It doesn't get crowded. Sometimes when there's a hundred people, you're searching for a place to set up a tent. I enjoy the crowd though. Oh yeah, it's fine. And like that, I appear. They said they said you wanted to film me, and I said okay, but I'm gonna film him too. <laughs> hey, I'm okay with that. You you spent a few more dollars on your equipment, though. I think. Yeah, oh no, Three Rivers like did, 15. didn't they? No, I did, I did. <laughs> oh really? That's yours? Owned and operated by me. You got me signed in. No. I'm um, number 15, I think. All right, here's. Some people probably already taken stuff out, but here's some of the the slack packing gear so that people didn't have to carry it and used to they would use trash bags but i think there was an incident where somebody stuff got thrown out so they're using clear bags now or labeled bags but what are you documenting but this is how slack packing works see we got to get mr stanley here a clear bag <laughs> Who's gonna start the song? I don't. Yeah, that's up to y'all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Three Rivers. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! <laughs> 